And these were very big issues. But equally big was actually how to feed people, how to support people who lost their jobs, how to deal with people who left cities and went back to their homes, how to deal with informal sector who had to shut down their shops and shut down their services. And that is when actually India discovered its real strength. Because if I give you the numbers, I assure you, you will actually, because this is a conversation I have with many people abroad. During, for the last three years, since COVID started, Indian government gives free food to 80 crore, 800 million people. 800 million people. And it is because Prime Minister took this decision that we did not have the problems which 100 years ago actually happened in our country during Spanish war. Not just give food. Aap logon ko yaad hoga jab wo pradhan mantri bane the. Unki ek appeal thi ki sab log apna bank mein khata khole. People found it very strange. Bhai, paise nahi hai to kaise khole? Then he got that also fixed. And said, no, please open your account. It is because he insisted on opening bank accounts that today we are able to put 42 crore every every month, 42 crore, 420 million payments are made into the accounts of people. These are the people who need this money for very basic things. So today, if India has come through this, nobody complains that they lack food. People got money for their necessities. But this was during COVID. Some of it continues. You must also see the change which is going on. And particularly, they have said that I have not been here for two years. Aap jahaan, jahaan tevi hai, aap jaakar dekhe wahaan kya hoa hai. Aap jo hai, we have a whole set of yojanas. To Dhan Mantri, jo bank transfer ke jo baat kar raha tha, wo Dhan Mantri Garib Kalyan yojana thi. Jo food support jo tha, wo anna yojana thi. Par ek awaaz yojana, under awaaz yojana, we government has supported people financially to build 30 million houses, 10 crore houses. And if you think five people live in a house, that means 150 million. Three times the population of this country, population of Japan. Population of Japan has got home ownership in the last few years. There is a program many of you would have heard called Ujwala. और मैंने सुना था कि वही समस्या यहाँ भी है कि लोग फायरवुड यूज़ करते हैं और प्रधानमंत्री जी कहते थे कि यूज़िंग फायरवुड इज़ लाइक स्मोकिंग मल्टीपल पैक्स ऑफ़ सिगरेट एवरी डे अब व्हेन वी चेंज उस अंडर रोज़वाला फायरवुड तू गैस सिलेंडर्स द नंबर ऑफ़ बेनिफिशियरीज़ वर एट क्रोस न so you can understand that in India there is a difference in which scale that you are able to feed people who are the size of Europe and America. You are able to put money in bank accounts for entire European population. You can give houses to the size of Japan. You can give gas cylinders to the size of Germany. And I can give you many other examples. So it can be support which is given to Kisan. It can be even जो जो वेंडर जो है जो इनफॉर्मल इकोनॉमी वाले जो हैं उनको पहले बैंक कहते थे कि भाई कोलैटरल दिखाओ उनके पास कोलैटरल था ही नहीं अब टुडे दे कैन गेट लोन्स दे कैन गेट अनसेक्योर लोन्स एंड वन थिंग आई आई वुड से मुद्रा हो या ऐसे स्वाने दी जैसे स्कीम हो इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग जो लोन लेते public pay vishwaas karti hai, let me tell you, public repays it in full. And this is the power of Modi ji. That he is able, he is able today to trust people. And people feel that obligation. So, this too is part of what is the change you will experience. But wherever you go today in India, you will see some, some building, some construction going on. Roads are being built, metro is being built, housing is happening. Uh, it is, if you go to a village, 
Last year, Prime Minister told us that it is 75 years of our independence. So, unki ye ek gujarish thi. He said, every minister, every member of parliament, aap log jo hain apne shetra mein jaayin, apne jilay mein jaayin. And in every district, please ensure that there are 75 sarovars that are built. It's a very simple thing. Barish aati hai, bhai jaati hai, nobody retains water. And you know water is the biggest problem in our country. Now, just this, I will look at the clarity of this vision. That 750 districts of India, every district, big pond, small pond, big project, you actually ended up with 50,000 new water bodies. It is very simple at one level, it is so effective at another level. So, these are the kind of changes today that are taking place in India. And these, I am describing to you sometimes physical change, but you should also see the mindset change of people. I Bharat in Bharat, I go to many universities. I see one very interesting change. Before you go to university or you go to a school, people will say, how this person came first in the class. He is our gold medalist. He is our silver medalist. He is a board topper. He is a good one. Today you see something very different. People say, he is a patent. He is an innovation. Please spend half an hour. He is a project. This is actually a different India. A different young generation. A generation today which is actually feeling that we have it in us to do things differently, to take India on a different route, that confidence actually Prime Minister has been able to instill uh, in the country. So, if I were to sum up all this, you would have heard this very often, Atman Nirbhar Bharat. Kabhi kabhi aap bed ke sochye, vichar kariye. What does Atmanirbhar Bharat mean? Atmanirbhar Bharat at the end of the day is actually a confidence. Ye Atma Vishwas ki bhavna hai. Ki we are capable of many things. We need a leader who will give us the confidence that we can realize that capability. Who can give us the policies that will enable us to go in that direction. And it is it is happening. You know, I am sharing with you different aspects of it. That today manufacturing is coming back. Today exports are booming. Today digital India is moving forward. If we, if we take a look uh, at really the speed of digitization of India, it is faster than any other society. So this this whole uh, I would say transformation of India that is taking place. This is really what New India is about. This is what the world is noticing. And this is something which all of you sitting here must be aware of. I hope very much the next time you go to India, you will yourself be able to experience it. But I also want to say this. This New India today can in many ways its relationship with the rest of the world can become much stronger. That there are many more opportunities coming out of this India for you. But before I conclude, let me also say a few lines. Because till now I have said that what is happening in India? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? I would also like to share this with you. How does the world see us? Because if we have changed, their perception of us would have also changed. I think very clearly people see our economic change. They see our economic strength. We are today the fifth largest economy in nominal terms. We are very confident by the end of the decade we will almost certainly be the third largest economy. 
Secondly, today people sing a different